HPV stands for human papillomavirus. There are many different types of the HPV virus. The high-risk types of HPV virus cause cervical cancer. They also contribute to five other types of cancer in men and women, throat and mouth, anal, vaginal, vulvar, and penile cancers. Other types of HPV virus cause genital warts. HPV infection is very common. Four out of five adult men and women will be infected with the HPV virus at some point in their life. You could be infected with the HPV virus for many years and not know it because there are no symptoms. When someone is infected with the HPV virus, usually the body will fight it off on its own eventually. But if it stays in the body over a number of years, it can lead to abnormal changes in the cells. These abnormal cells can eventually turn into cancer cells. The HPV vaccine prevents infection from certain high-risk types of the HPV virus. For example, the HPV vaccine prevents 70 out of every 100 cases of cervical cancer. One brand of the vaccine also protects against genital warts. I'd recommend the HPV vaccine because we know that the human papillomavirus causes many different types of cancer. We also know that the human papillomavirus is the number one cause of cervical cancer. There are approximately 12,000 new cases of cervical cancer annually in the United States. There are also 4,000 uh, deaths annually. The vaccine has been shown to be almost 100% effective, and since we know that HPV is the cause of cervical cancer, um, this vaccine that prevents against it would save many lives. The HPV vaccine is recommended for girls and boys starting at age nine. Children can get the vaccine at little to no cost through age 18. Children need three HPV shots over six months. If it's been more than six months, it's not too late to catch up. Children need all three shots for the vaccine to work. Children need to get the vaccine early so their bodies can build immunity to the virus before they become sexually active when they are older. I had my daughter to receive the HPV vaccination because if we can save one life from cerebral cancer, the vaccine is helpful for boys and girls. Yes, over 20 years of research in thousands of males and females in the U.S. and around the world has demonstrated the safety of the HPV vaccine. No serious side effects have been found. The HPV vaccine is actually very safe. It's been uh, researched by the Food and Drug Administration uh, and studied all over the world in thousands of women. And what we found is that uh, the most common side effects are going to be pain at the site of the injection. Other common side effects include fainting, dizziness, and nausea. Cervical cancer is entirely preventable. Regular pap tests in women can catch abnormal changes in the cells early before they turn into cancer. The HPV vaccine also provides extra protection. Remember, the HPV vaccine prevents most cervical cancers, but not all of them. So starting at age 21, all women need to get regular pap tests, even if they've had the HPV vaccine.